very excited to be here. Uh, excited to be here today. Excited to be a part of uh, University of Louisville football and Coach Strong's staff. And, and uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I have some, some positive things and then some concerns. And I want to start with the positives because I, I like to be a positive guy. Um, just looking at our offense, and, and some of this stuff you already know and, and, and people know, but I just want to go through it a little bit. I think some of the strengths, some of the positives, uh, first of all, wide receiver. Somebody's phone is uh, going off right here. It's probably me, Rocco. Somebody's phone is playing back. <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King back out there. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, the positives on offense, first of all, I, I'd have to say the wide receiver position. Uh, Josh Bellamy, Andrell Smith, Michael Lee Harris, uh, even though Michael Lee Harris has not uh, played much here, uh, had some injury issues, uh, we expect big things out of him. Uh, Damian Copeland, another guy, and then there's a couple of freshmen that you're going to hear about at the receiver position. They're, one of them is a, a local guy, a guy we think. Uh, was probably the best player in the state of Kentucky last year, and that's Devontae Parker uh, from Ballard High School. And then also Eli Rogers from Miami, Florida. Those two guys, I think you're gonna, you're gonna see and hear about them uh, a lot in the future, and we're very excited about those guys. Uh, tight end position, uh, Josh Chichester has moved last year. He played kind of a hybrid between a wide receiver and a tight end. He's moving into the tight end position this year, uh, and, and that's a positive. He's, he's uh, given us a lot of leadership. He works very hard. Uh, that's a positive. Uh, the running back position, you look at uh, with, with two guys, two good players uh, in Vic Anderson and Jeremy Wright. We feel very good about those guys. Uh, so those are what I would say the positives uh, and, and the, the things that, that I look at as, as being real positives going into, into this season. Uh, the concerns or the question marks. Uh, the first one is the offensive line, and everybody knows about that. We go from uh, we go from last year having six seniors in the offensive line. We we started four, but we had six that played. And uh, the fact that that uh, really the only returning starter is is Mario Benavides, our center. Uh, that's a positive, uh, but it's but it's also a concern. The fact that we are replacing four starters, a guy that played a lot last year, uh, Alex Cupper. Will play one of those positions. Uh, Ryan Kessling, who is a who's a uh, senior this year, uh, will be playing one of those positions. I think Jake Smith, Cam Joyer, uh, and Hector Hernandez are also some guys that could play uh, in the offensive line. But we we're in the process right now of of uh, deciding who those guys are going to be and, and uh, developing them. Uh, the next concern or question mark is our quarterback position, and I think that's something that everybody sees on the outside. Uh, first of all, Will Stein, uh, you know, is, is, uh, has not played much. He played, you know, a little bit last year against Rutgers, did a nice job. Uh, played previous to that, some the year before. Uh, and then uh, Teddy Bridgewater. And we think both those guys are very good players. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of depth in the quarterback position. Uh, we think both those guys are very good players. We think both of them will play. How that's all going to work itself out will determine will be determined during training camp as far as who the starter is and uh, how that's going to work. But we do expect to play both those guys. I think another another concern, another question mark, uh, is the depth at the tight end position. You know, behind uh, Josh Chichester, we you know we've we've got a, a depth issue, and that that's another concern. So uh, you know, all in all, there there's positives and there's concerns. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do on offense. We, you know, Vance made it sound like we were moving the ball all over the place. Uh, uh, the way I look at it, I think our defense is really good, and we're we're scrambling uh, each day, struggling each day to try to try to make some first downs and move the football. Uh, so that's that's kind of where we're at as far as what I see as positives and question marks. Uh, question.